last year, just getting to the end is, is the main aim. But in order to be competitive year on year, they're, they're squeezing more and more out of this. It's a, a more highly strung, finely tuned Opel Manta in order to be competitive. We wonder just how long it can survive. I, I don't mean that rudely, but you know, it's an older car that you're asking a lot of to keep up with the modern technology. I wonder how much of it is actually old. <laughs> how much of it's new? Uh, yeah, it could be just an old shape. But just it? even looking at the little things like the light cluster. Did this one happen? Oh. He's across the grass and, oh dear, into a BMW and then into a Mercedes. Very hip and shoulder. Suspension broken. Mercedes off the road as well. Need the Black Falcon GT4 entry that got involved, remember, with Farfus on the opening lap and yeah. pitted at the end of lap one. So Mike Sturzberg in 46. He has hit the wall, hasn't he? Yeah. It's, um... It doesn't look terminal, that damage, if they can get that car back to the pit lane, but I'm afraid for the Opal it does look rather more severe. Yeah, Olaf Beckman is the driver, and I mean, that front left corner, he's, he's gone, isn't it? He was sort of a sandwich of trying to keep out of the way. And going back oh, out go. is the twice repaired Opel Manta. Peter Haas on the wheel of it. It probably won't do enough laps to be classified, but that has had more hits than Elvis over the last 24 hours. So well done. They've got it back out again. And a great reception at the first corner. <laughs> that car we thought we'd seen the last of. It's had another accident since, and it's back out. And that's fantastic, isn't it? Well, yeah. And uh, as you said yesterday after the first accident, we hope that wasn't the last we'll see of that car. And look, all the other teams applaud it down the pit lane. Wolfgang Land, you saw there, the Phoenix Audi team doing as well. In fact, it's going to be the car in 140th place, and Olaf Backman is given the driving duties. The, the graphics said it was Peter House. It's Olaf Backman, who I think was involved in the first accident with the car, so he's allowed to make up for that by bringing it home. And look, they're all cheering it, everybody Fantastic. responding to this car gives you the sort of impression that it will be back, doesn't it? Absolutely, yeah. And isn't it great to see? Nobody's looking at it thinking, oh, old car, I don't like that, you know, bring on the, the, the GT3 brigade. Everybody has a soft spot for this. Foxtail from the uh, aerial there as it goes through yes. the hairpin at the Grand Prix loop. See the bodywork on the left-front corner, it's a completely different traffic. There's the Manta <laughs> on its lap of honour, as you say. Yeah. Tour d'honneur for the Opal. Making its way up now towards the chicane. It'll be getting a hearty round of applause from all the yeah. campsites populating the opening part of the Nordschleife and also around the uh, the Brunchen section. Lots and lots of fans. They can stand anywhere from from the carousel round through Brunchen and uh, down to Flansgarden. And this will be its last lap. It won't get a, a chance to do another, so... Uh, well... It is getting a round of applause. It is a, a lap of honour. Let's hope that... It isn't its last ever lap. They've Marshalls. just got it out so that they can say goodbye to everybody. Let's hope it is back next year. It would be a shame if this were its last race. Everybody going crazy, aren't they? <laughs> but it's great, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it reminds you that there is a, a place for this. Look, all the BMW flags being waved, everybody responding. There's no point in there somewhere in the mix.